Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Delissa, so if this is one of your first videos, um, let me tell you about myself. My name is Delissa, I am a new mom. I've been uh, talking about baby products and things that I've been using. I'm always excited to try new baby products. So uh, if you know and you've been watching before, you know I've been using the Legendary Milk Collecting Cups and I've been using my Bella Baby Pump. And in the last video, I told you that I found many baby bella pumps so what did i do i went and got it of course so i'm about to unbox the baby bella mini let's see if it was worth it because the baby bella is already tiny but it's not that tiny it's kind of bulky but it's small smaller than a pump so Here's the tubing bottles connecting pieces stuff to pump right into those Ziploc bags that they put out here. Little Ziploc bags, take it these bigger bags. And look at this pump. This pump is way smaller than the one that they gave you the first time. And it kind of looks like an Alexa. This is how big it is. So I'm pretty excited to try it. So I'm gonna go charge this bad boy and Give it a look see to see how it pumps versus the other pump because I do like the other pump. So, just some little uh, e-card. Yeah, I guess just to tell how the product was. So, I'll possibly be doing this. Um, <laughs> and then a little manual telling you how to work the pump. So, I will look this over and I will be back. I will possibly use my collecting cups with this one and see how it is versus the suction the noise the um, the carability that's not even a word because i like to make up my own words but uh, the carability of like being able to carry this around versus the rectangle shaped one i would get it right now but i don't remember where i put carter's baby bag so i don't know where it is but when i come back I will have it, and we will compare size and suction and power, and is this more easy to carry around than the rectangle one? Friends, I'm about to go pump with this one, then I will be back to let you know how it went. Hey friends, I am back now to tell you how my pumping session went with the Bella Baby Mini. So this is the Mini, and then this is the one that I usually have. There is a great difference in size and this didn't really fit in most of my pockets. This one will fit in like all my pockets. <laughs> so this is more compact and it is more travelable and actually reasonably to uh, will carry around than this one. This one is not terrible. Um, this one is fairly loud. I'll turn it on, see if you can hear it. And then when you have it on a table, Oh, no, it's not going to do it because I guess the pump pieces are not. But when it's on the table, it makes a louder whining noise. Rather, this one. I'm trying to turn it on. It's kind of loud, too, but it's not as loud. Even on the table, still not that loud. That's the one setting. That's the second setting. All right. So, at first, I was ready to come back to y'all and let this product have it. Sorry, I got food on my shirt, y'all. I'm just out here lacking. But anyway, <laughs> I was ready to come back and let this product have it. I was going to say, you know what? It's not worth it. Because I wasn't getting no milkies. And I got milkies. <laughs> so um, it did take a little bit of time for it to like actually kick in. I don't feel like I got completely empty from this one. I did. It did feel like, I don't know. Maybe the suction is different because I actually had to turn this one up way higher than, higher than I would normally have my Baby Bella pump set up. Because on the first setting, the letdown setting, I usually have it at like a four. And then the next setting, I have it at like a three. The harder suction or the tighter suction, I usually have it at a three. I had to have that bad boy on like a six because I was not feeling anything. And I'm just like, excuse you, pump. 
no, you need to be doing your job. I need to be empty. So I think I might actually just go back in with my normal size baby Bella and see how much I get from that one. Right now, I'm currently pouring it into a bottle to let you know how much milk I actually got. And y'all gonna be like, girl, you tripping. That's a lot of milk. But to me, no, it's not. I could've got better. I am currently sick and I'm producing a lot more milk because I guess my body's like, if you're sick, your baby's possibly sick. So keep making milk. So I ended up getting um, about six ounces. Um, yeah, I feel like it could have been better. Um, I do like the pump. There's only certain things that I don't like about it. Uh, my favorite thing about the baby, baby Bella pump is it had a timer on it. So it would let me know how long I was pumping versus this one. There is no timer. So you, I'm back at like the whole traditional pump thing where I have to actually watch my time and see how long I'm pumping, which when I'm at work, I need that so I know that I pumped my 20 minutes or my 15 minutes. Rather, if I'm at home, it doesn't really matter. Um, I do know this one, after a while, uh, if you get to like 25 minutes, it will add on automatically shut off. So like when I'm driving, I know that it was shut off. This one, I have no idea. I will have to test that theory out and see how that works. Um, I do like that it's smaller. I could just throw it in my pocket. But today I'm wearing yoga pants, so there was no pockets. Um, um, this one does make less noise, which I enjoyed. Uh, this one's quite loud. I do, it don't bother me, but it bothers other people around me because they're always looking around like, what the heck is that noise? And they never think, maybe it's my pump. <laughs> but um, all in all, uh, oh, another thing I noticed. On this one, these buttons are different settings. So apparently, I don't know if they meant this one second or first or whatever, heavy beast, but these are all different settings. This one only has the first and the last setting, and those are the two that I usually use anyways. So it, um, turn it on, sorry. If I can actually hold the button. So this is the first setting, and I had it at six, like I told you, because it was not working. So that's the setting. You can see it with the one thing. And then let me turn this one on to it too. So they make about like the same noise. This one's just a little quieter. And then um, I'm gonna, if you hold the button in the middle, it goes to the second setting. And then, even this one sounds louder. I think it's maybe because the suction is better because this one just sounds like it's humming rather than this one. Oh, I put it back on the first setting, that's why. Yeah, even the sound difference because I feel like that made a difference in my suction because I usually would never have to have it on number six for that one. Let me see what it was on for this one. Yeah. Oh, that's not right. This is five, but I think it's because I hit the button too many. I don't usually have it on five. So there is pros and cons. Would I choose this one over this one? Not really. Sorry. I'm going to be honest. I don't want you guys to go out there and spend your money saying that I tricked you, bamboozled you, whatever. No, I'm not saying that. Still a great pump but I just prefer this one. If you want something smaller and you only use the two settings like I do, maybe this one will work for you too. And maybe if you're not really big into changing your suction size that much, but I am because I like to feel the difference. Here, I didn't really feel a difference between the two. I didn't really, no, I don't, no, I didn't feel a difference. This one, I totally feel a difference between those two settings. This one, not so much. So if you are new to pumping and like you're still getting into it and you don't want anything too rough on the nipples, possibly this one. This would be your best choice. But if you like get more into pumping and you keeping it up, and then also back to what I'm saying about this one. If you're just starting pumping and you want something gentle on the nipple, you want something uh, portable and something that is not like too obvious that you're pumping, this will be perfect for you. This is something that I feel like most moms should start with also before they start pumping because this is like $30. It's not going to break the bank if you decide to go bigger later. But if you wanted to start and not spend too much money, get this first. You will have the pieces. You will not have the collecting cups unless you decided to go further into your journey. But if you are a new mom starting to pump and you're trying to figure out if pumping is going to work for you, start with this one. Um, the new bottles for this mini pump, they're detachable before, uh, with this one, they're not detachable. So it stays in that L shape. 
and you have to wash that whole piece. So it's less pieces, but this one's a little bit more because you can separate your flame from your, your connecting pieces. So, yeah, if you are a new mom starting off with pumping, try this one first. This could be your in the backpack when we're on the go kind of pump. And if you get one through your insurance, then you can use that one at home. But if you decide to stay with pumping and you want something with a little better suction, try this one because I... Like this one, I'm going to keep both of them no matter what because you can't have too many pumps with me because I'm just always doing something and I need a pump, okay? I, I just need a pump. But anyways, um, whichever one you go with, it's not a bad choice. But if you're a new mom, go with the mini. If you are more experienced and you have more suction and you are used to this pumping thing, get this one. Um, I will be using both of them no matter what anyway, so it don't matter. But this one... It will take up way less room. I probably won't even need a carrying case. Because it's like, look, my case is like pretty much empty. Let's see if I can fit my cups in here now. Because well, before I could not fit my pump with these cups in here. But now that I have a smaller one. Oh! Yeah. Okay, now this one just won a little point. I could fit my, my machine with my cords and everything into my pumping bag. So... We'll have to give it a little uppity uppity point on that one. But um, overall, I think it's a good product. Um, I wouldn't choose it over the one I got, but it's okay. You learn and you live. It's all right. Um, it is really good still, but it's more for like possibly a new mom who's still getting used to pumping and who needs like the light suction and everything. Me, I'm on the other end where I'm just like, we well, can get this milk out the fastest. <laughs> so... I'm still going to keep both of them. I enjoy both the products. So, yeah. I hope this video was informational to you. If you like this video, please like, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to Simply Delissa where I will be talking about my mommy life, my cooking life, my baking life, my baby, and just my life. So, <laughs> have a good night, you guys.